welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Karita Mbagara. I'm the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. All Christians are expected to serve God. And uh, many of us do something for the kingdom of God. And our service is really uh, for the glory of God. Uh, and it should always be for the glory of God. But I want to say, not all service that is rendered to God is equally, and I underline the word equally, acceptable before him. You may ask me, how are, are you serious? Uh, I mean, when you serve God, it is expected that that service will be acceptable to God. But I want to say, you know, when we render service, even in real life uh, to fellow men, we serve because there is something that we expect. There is gain. When you work at an office, it is because there is a salary that you are looking forward to. And we seem to carry this even in our service to God. We serve God uh, being uh, self-interested, uh, looking for returns. Usually, this is what causes us to go to to God and say, Lord, I've been serving you and yet you are not hearing my prayers, you are not answering my prayers. It's just a, it's just a, a proof that actually we serve God because we are expecting something. Uh, there is re reciprocity that is expected. But today I want to tell you that the best service we can render to God is the service that is rendered out of love because we love God, because we have a relationship with Him. And that's what He looks for. But having said that, I want to say God being who He is, even when we render service out of love and out of relationship and friendship with Him, He still rewards us. The scriptures are very clear. In the book of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, He says that it says that God is a just God and he rewards those who serve him and uh, therefore God will still reward us but it is the attitude with which that we serve God that is uh, that I am addressing and that is critical for us to examine Jesus in the book of John chapter 15 verse 14 and 15 said you are my friends if you do what I command I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Jesus was speaking to his disciples right towards the end of their walk with him here on earth. He was about to be crucified and he's telling them, you are no longer servants. You are friends. And he is affirming them because he has seen that they are serving out of that relationship that they had. And I think that's what God is looking for. That's what will cause us to be commended. And therefore, I would say, instead of craving to be called a man or a servant of God, maybe what we should be aspiring to is being called a friend of God. A friend of God that serves him. A friend of God that is giving his best service out of love. Because that will be rewarded. Jesus said, when we do his commands out of our love for him, then we become his friends. And this is what I desire and uh, would want to commend to every one of us. But I must also add here that this is something that comes from the heart. Love flows from the heart. So what I am also asking is that we need to examine our hearts. What relationship have we uh, allowed to grow or what attitude have we allowed to grow in our hearts? Is it just, you know, I want God to hear me and I serve him because I want him to answer my prayers or is it I love God whether he will answer my prayers or not? Whether he will grant what I require or not, I will serve him because I love him. That love is what God is looking for. And that love 
will cause us to give acceptable service. And I would want to encourage every one of us to examine his heart, her heart, and know uh, that God is looking for that kind of attitude as we serve him. May the Lord bless you as you examine your heart and may you have a great and a blessed time of serving him. Thank you. See you next week.